Hola, community, it's Pablo Vázquez. One of the big features of 2.90 is the Nishida sky texture in cycles. It's meant for cycles. But let's not forget about this other great great engine that comes with Blender, which is Eevee. In Eevee, not Nishida, but the two other skies are now available. So you can access them, you can use them just like you could use in cycles. Now you can also use them on Eevee. So I have an example here by with this monster by Daniel Bystead. And in here he's using some lights and some um, and that's it. And I think in the world there is the there is a HDR. So we don't need that anymore. We can just turn off the lights and use instead a sky texture. And we change from Nishida to either one to Pritham or the other one and you just bam, you just have lights so it's that is really just a plug and play it's um let, let's disable the environment so we can see it better so it's uh, it's really just that you just change the turbidity and to change a little bit of the colors or you can also control the position of the sun which if you take it to negative numbers can be funny but uh, that's just, just how it works it's, uh, it's not limited in position, so you can drive it and you can do crazy stuff. But the other sun model, the uh, sky model, the Hosek Vilki, it's super interesting because that one actually shows a bit more of the of the sun. If you rotate it, you can actually see more and you can have these nice sunsets. Maybe we can make it even stronger and then just make it more red nice epic and it's all just just without any lights this is this is just pure uh a node it's just a node that does all the magic for you the lighting is amazing and um you can just do anything that you could do with the with the previous um with the previous with, with cycles for example so for example for controlling the position i like to i like to use an object uh, coordinate so texture coordinate node and then just use an object um, that way, for me, it's easier to position it and to rotate it. So if you have it there, um, you can just change it or even like twist it and have it upside down <laughs> or even just like make it in real weird lightings. Of course, if you cover this with the, with an environment, then you can't really tell um, that you are doing weird stuff with the sun. But sometimes you get really nice really nice lighting or very dramatic lighting can i pass it through a color rgb colors like rgb curves is that gonna work i haven't tested this uh, don't try it well yes try it at home of course let's see we're bluish oh wow nice oof okay this wasn't scripted nothing is really scripted in this video so i just like to read the news as I get them. All right, this is amazing. The uh, the file, if you want to just try the same that I just tried here, you can go to blender.org, download demo files, and you're going to find here this uh, monster by Daniel Bice. This is the file that I tried now. And of course, if you want to get the latest features, go to download, then experimental, and get the latest build. And uh, have fun. Ciao.